What roles have you done on news days and how have you found them? Well, the first week I was a web sub, so I was like editing everyone's work that got sent to me. So I was like one of the main people and it all came through. So I was doing like the search engine optimization and that kind of thing. And the second week I was a news editor, so I was going out and finding stories. And then the third week I did infographics, like making graphs and maps for people and stuff like that. How have you found them? Um, the first role was good because I think I learned the most doing the web subbing because I learned how to do SEO like really well and get everything sorted. The second week was good doing news editor but if it's hard for you all to get a separate story because there's so many of you doing it and it's got to be sulfur based so it's got to be like quite quick and then infographics was quite dull because not many people really wanted one doing it, everyone was just doing it themselves. What's the favourite role you've done and why? Um, I'd probably say news editor because it's like a much more active than the other ones so you don't just have to sit in the room all day. You can go out and find stories and go out with different news editors so that was the most enjoyable. How have you worked in a team during the news days? Um, well, when I was a web sub there was like a group of us doing it so all of us, like five girls, we had to work together so one main person gave us all a story to do so that was good teamwork and then as a group, it's difficult because there's that many people in there and a lot of people are moving in and out. But I think overall we got like the good idea, so it just went from station to station and worked its way up. What advice would you give to first years during news days? I would definitely say like come in with a story. So like you've got one ready to go because if on the day it fails or you're doing a job where you can't get a story. So like when I was doing um, web subbing, I was literally on the computer all day so I didn't have time to go out and get one. But if you come in with a story, then you can still submit on that day. So you're still getting a story going up every week. And I would definitely say that you need to make sure you get everything in each story. So like infographics, maps, as much information as you can and always have an interview. Because if not, then they pretty much don't work. What problems did you face during news days? Um, I would say one time one of the editors went out of the room like the main editor for the whole room went out of the room and like went away for like two hours and like everything kind of like broke down because if the main person isn't there then none of the other groups can like function properly because no one knows where each other's at so that was like a massive problem but in the end we just kind of got someone to come round. like one person just went round and spoke to each group and was like where are you at and we had to sort it out ourselves but that was probably the biggest problem we had how did you solve them um, just talking to each other really, like we just got um, each group to like nominate a person to say where you're at because we didn't know where this person had gone, we couldn't get in touch with them so we all just worked together as individual teams and then sorted it out.